Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel. I would like to use my secret potion healer here to cleanse the area. I call on my spirit guides, my higher self, and my ego to the side. <sighs> higher self, coordinate angels, please guide, protect me in this reading and let me be aware of the message being given to me so I can give this message to you. This is a twin flame reading. I am going to put the dates below. Oh, wow, there's a card here. This is the Two of Swords. Somebody needs to make a decision, okay? I'm just saying. That came up. So, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, please protect me in this reading. Please let me be aware of the answer. The energy is being given to me. This is for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. I want to see how the Divine Masculine views the Divine Feminine, as well as the Divine Feminine views the Divine Masculine. I want to see his actions. I want to see his challenges, as well as the Divine Feminine. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels is for the Collective. It's twin Flame Soulmate Energy, if you're just guided to watch this for a lover, this message is for you. What is the message, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels? Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energies. So for the Divine Masculine, for the Divine Feminine. This is the Divine Masculine, this is the Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine is going through the Will of Fortune. He's going through change. There's something happening with the Divine Masculine here, okay? He's definitely going through some Will of Fortune, some change. He could be having good fortune as well. Let's see. Divine Masculine is waiting. He's waiting for his ships to return. But I feel like Divine Masculine, it's in your favor, okay? You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be accomplishing something. Your Divine Feminine is coming back to you. Look at this. Your soulmate is coming back to you. One more card for clarification. You've been waiting for this person. You've been manifesting this person. Card position, Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine, you have healing. You're healing a lost you're healing your fears. What are your fears are you holding? You're scared. Why are you scared? Why is do you have temptation? Um, your emotions are rising. Luna is getting to you. Something is being offered to you. You could be in a family right now. But you also you know this night is coming for you. Okay, you know somebody's coming for you. You know your divine masculine is coming for you. What does he want you to know? Divine masculine wants you to know he's been waiting here. As the Seven of Pentacles. He's been waiting for you. Ready to start a new adventure. Ready to start something new. But it's a young energy as well. He's been thinking, contemplating, and waiting. Within the Palace of Wands here. He's been contemplating and waiting about you. Okay? He wants you to know that he's been thinking about you. As taking action within this reunion. Okay? With the Queen of Wands. Divine Feminine. How you see your Divine Masculine. Or what you want your Divine Masculine to know. You want him to know that you want him to return. You've been thinking about him in his past with the Six of Cups here. You also have a house. You're very grounded. You're very, you have this very stable, grounded stability. You have action. You have movement. You, you have success and victory by your outcomes, by your business, by your business. But you're also walking away from something right here. What are you walking away from? You're walking away probably from the union. You have a choice here. What is this choice? This choice is temperance, t card of Sagittarius. You have a choice um, to either make things happen or to move on. How is the Divine Masculine relating to you? The devil energy, lustful energy. But although he's loving and caring, this is a sexual, emotional energy. He has something weighing heavily on his back because he wants to start a new beginning with you. Okay? He wants you to know that. Divine Feminine, you want to start fresh with the Divine Masculine. You have this true awakening. I feel like you have forgiven him for the past, and you're making the intention as the Three of Coins to let go of the a third-party relationship that you could have been in, and you're going to make that suggestion to him. And that's what you bring to the relationship. What y'all have together? Well, you have... An option you have this is the four of wands you have a twin flame connection here 
sorry, I have a card that just dropped. It was the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups, you have a suggestion, and this is Divine Feminine. The um, cards are asking Divine Feminine, you have a chance. Not a chance, but you have an opportunity, not only an opportunity, but this is a twin flame connection that you can't deny. It's going to be there forever, okay? It's a place of emotions, a place where you can express yourself emotionally, especially clairvoyantly. But there's some things that you have to let go with in your past. But there's somebody here. Is it this person that you have to let go? You are aware of whoever it is or whatever it is that you need to let go of with the Ace of Swords here, okay? You could be a Leo or you could be dealing with a Leo or you need to have the strength of a Leo so that you can move forward within this twin flame connection. You are the wounded warrior. You've been through a lot, okay? Let's see the final outcome. The final, final outcome. One card to top it off. Okay, so we have somebody either who's going to invest something. I feel like someone could be held off because the four of coins is about being closed off. I'm going to pull a clarifier for the four of coins here. Spirit guides, guardian angels. Excuse me, I move my arm. We have the four of coins here with the ten of cups. Why is he being closed off? Why is the divine masculine being closed off here? Because there's something there there's something happening with you in this divine masculine. Look the star card in reverse. What is it? What is the star card in reverse? What happened? I'm reaching out to a lot of people, okay? Change happened. Okay, so you have to would get you would have to get a personalized reading from me. Take advantage of twin flame. I'm wanting to start fresh as well, okay? Let's see. Let's see what the angels have to say about this. Spirit guides, guardian angels. This is for divine masculine, divine feminine. This is the twin flame union energy. Twin flame union energy. We have, this could be the one. Can we have another card, please, spirit? Oh, God, my body is, like, so warm. I feel so content right now with this reading and reconciliation. Wow. So, check out this heart, you guys. This is the heart of um valentine's so this is going to be reconciliation for some it could definitely be engagement okay this could be the one this could be the one so you could be dealing with somebody in particular you this is also could be reconciliation with your divine masculine engagement you know this can ascend to a higher um, level of commitment for sure or this could be the one there is reconciliation here you guys okay so um what are the blocks between you and your look on the bottom of that you guys we had calling in your soulmate wow okay so my little heart okay so let's see the blocks what is outer influence the outer influences Okay, this is the devil energy. This is about releasing the toxic relationships. Outer influence that's blocking. Giving and receiving. Maybe letting your ego get in the way of making a wiser decision with your heart rather than your mind. And we also, it's about like doing something. It's not as bad as what it seems. It's about moving. It's about taking action. One more card to top it off here. We have seek the truth. You know, seek the truth within you and your significant other seek that truth that's beautiful and the way you seek that truth is um i'm gonna actually read that to you number seven I can find it. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Seek the truth. Intuition is a powerful ally. And now is a good time to follow and trust your inner pro your inner promptings. It may be that all is not as it seems in some of, of your relationships. 
Use your psychic senses to determine which of your associations may be questionable. Trust in what your intuition is saying right now. As much as you like to trust these people or these or this person, it's important to question their motives. Be cautious about sharing your most private thoughts and feelings in order to avoid allowing yourself and allowing yourself be placed in a vulnerable position. It says, be diligent in physical in physically scanning your intent interactions for possible deception. Be wary of one side relationships in which the other person is not participating fully. Now is the ideal opportunity to get to the bottom of this behavior. Be sure that your role in this relationship is above board and based on honesty. Honesty is the key here, but you have to see the truth behind the matter. Is it re is it only one-sided? Okay. Wow. So let's just pull some cards here and see. You know, how does this twin flame soulmate really feel for this divine feminine? We have the Magician. We have Partnership, Possible Partnership. And we have the Seven. He's like ready. He feels ready. He feels so emotional. He feels like the Empress. He has all of He has everything. He wants to work together. Look at this. I'm going to show it to you. This Divine Masculine wants to take action into a possible partnership with you, okay? Not only that, but it's ready. It's like he's ready for the fruit to be ripe. He's ready to take action as the magician here. Okay, as the magician to start a part possible partnership with you. He's ready. Look at this. And he sees that you are as well. Okay, and this is him. He could be an Aries, but not specifically. He also wants to work together with you and build something strong. Wow, that's beautiful. What's on the bottom of the deck? Uh, we have the Eight of Swords, so somebody is mentally thinking about you, okay? But then there's also success and victory behind a Twin Flame connection. And then we have the Lovers here. Wow. And then we have Traveling or Traveling Somewhere. Mmm, could be pregnancy? I don't know. This is awesome. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching.